Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video of mine and today we're back with a uh, little wager squad a team that I look forward to wagering with I don't know if it's going to be amazing or not but I am running a 4-3-3 formation and if you guys are wondering where the hell have you been Cal the honest answer to that is I went back up to Scotland to go visit my old friends they're back from uni and to also go visit my family but I'm back down in London now and uh, I'm back on that YouTube grind I'm uh, ready to make some more videos for you chat but like I said, we have a really kind of cool uh, team here for you guys. There is one star man, and that man is Man of the Match, Neymar. Now, if you guys are wondering where this Man of the Match, Neymar, came from, it is in fact from the uh, Confederations Cup Final, where um, Brazil beat Spain. So, that was a fantastic game. Really enjoyed watching that. I can't exactly ma make my mind up about him, whether I absolutely love him, or I think he's extremely overrated. Let me know in the comments what you guys think to Neymar. Do you, do you think, you know, he deserves all the hype he's been giving, uh, given, or do you think he's one of those uh, overrated players that doesn't necessarily deserve all this uh, spotlight? But, let's talk about this team that I'm going to be using so it is a 4-3-3 and you guys know I don't tend to run 4-3-3 squads although um, the reason why I am doing these squad builders is to let you guys kind of see that I want to change things up I don't want to always run these 3-5-2 formations it's just really not that f uh, well it is fun for me but it's not fun for you guys I want to kind of mix it up for you chaps so as you can see we have two, uh, two team of the season players here left back Marcelo which I might add he can be a bit of a bitch sometimes he's not always a great player so I'm a little bit skeptical about having him in the squad and then in the other uh, team of the season role, we have Boateng, one of my favorite center backs. He's doing such a great job. And obviously, he links up very nicely with Neuer. Neuer is a monster in this. And then, of course, the other center back is the informed Dante. Not the team of the season one, because uh, I don't have him anymore. Sad face. Oh, Cree Cree. Anyways, let's talk about the midfield. Um, now... The midfield for me might be a bit of a weak link. And now we have Ozil at center midfielder. He is a solid midfielder as well. And then we have Kaka who uh, makes that Brazilian link up with Dante. Now, uh, I really like Kaka. Kaka for me is a really good midfielder in this game. He plays really well in a 4-1-2-1-2. If you want to just play him as that center attacking midfield role. Or even a 3-5-2 in that attacking midfield role. I feel as though he does such a fantastic job of just, you know, uh, scoring goals, making good passes. And he's got some good dribbling on him as well. Now, um, I didn't mention Danny Alves. Now, Danny Alves at right back, he is a very attacking player. So, that's something you need to keep in mind. And that's one of the things that is sort of the downside of this team. Now, the right back and left back, they are both very attacking. Now, this midfield that I have as well, that I'm about to add the last player to, um, who's actually going to be Lucas, um, another Brazilian uh, player in the squad. But... As you can see, so far, we have a lot of attacking players. All three of those midfielders are naturally center attacking midfielders. So, it's a little bit worrying for me. All I can say is, guys, don't play one, two balls. Don't hold LB and A. That's to do, uh, you know, to uh, pass it and make a run. Don't do that with your midfield because next thing you know, you'll have a huge gap in midfield. There are no holding midfielders there. So, you have to play a little bit different and be, a, you know, be a little bit more intelligent when it comes to uh, making sure you're making the right passes and who you're running forward with so on that right wing position we have the one and only silver in this team and that is going to be uh kelvin kelvin for me is a five star scaling animal he is very very good in this game he does go for quite a bit or at least he did a little while ago i've had him for a very long time i have never put him in a squad builder either so i'm quite excited to put him into the team then we have pato a very sort of standard striker there i could have put hulk in there who i actually won off of a wager match and then of course at left midfielder uh sorry left midfielder left winger we have have, uh, the Barcelona left winger, um, a second man of the match player, I should say. His uh, first man of the match player is 87 rated, I want to say. So um, his 88 left winged um, card, uh, obviously man of the match. He is just looking beautiful. Now, um, I do just want to say, by the way, guys, a little heads up. Hay fever has been kicking up my ass recently, and uh, it's just horrible. It sounds as though, you know, I've got something stuffed down my throat. Feel free to throw your inappropriate comments down below, because I can see them come flying in. And, uh, yeah, there's just so many innuendos throughout the, that entire little section. So, let's move on anyways. Like I said, that man of the match, Neymar, he is actually a very strong player. He's really, really good. Um, I didn't necessarily think his 87 one was that good. Uh, his uh, man of the match one, I thought 
lot and, and I know from a lot of people that they said he was very overrated didn't really enjoy using that one but I found this 88 one very very solid now I have played a few games with this they weren't wager matches they were just sort of online uh, division games so uh, I definitely got a good feel for the team like I said the weakest point in this team is when you get caught just with way too many players up and you find that you've only got Dante and Boateng to kind of cover the pieces you don't have any sort of uh, players to hang back but if this video hits 2,000 likes guys as always I'll be doing a wager match with this squad I don't know who I'm gonna put up for that wager but I would just like to say a huge thank you to um, Gills who uh, sorry Gilly who actually uh, donated me this a uh, man of the match name or not donated but allowed me to borrow him um, just for a brief while while I do these videos so I hope you guys uh, will check him out his link will be in the description but uh, hope you all have a cracking day and if you don't have a cracking day well then it sucks to be you because you should be making it godly until then guys I'll catch you in a bit hope you all have a good day for the fourth billion time see you in a bit bye bye